There's two more drafts on the computer, but I won't throw that on the floor. Welcome to the green room, I'm Ellie Verdi, and for seven years I wrote the mega epic fantasy saga half a million word long book. Legends, Legends of the Eagle Warriors. Warriors. You've always went heavy on the perfume, didn't you? I must have learned some lessons, but what are they? Number one, writing is hard. Sometimes my friends stared at how quickly I could write other times I threw my notebook across the room in frustration. Even if we love to do it, writing is hard. We're creating characters, stories, worlds out of words. It's a lot. It's an art form without limits. I won't sugarcoat it. Writing is a challenge and I struggled a lot, but I loved every second of it too. Number two. Editing is harder. Congratulations, you've spent countless hours on your work and it's finally finished. Your reward? Admit to all your mistakes. After finishing a draft, I always take a break to give myself distance from the project. Then I come back and realize everything I wrote is awful. That's when it's time to edit, improve, change. Perfect doesn't exist in literature, but better does. And that's what I always try to aim for. Number three, beta readers are great. Writing this book I lived in the belief that it would be the next big bestseller. You know, typical delusional mindset of an overachieving preteen. Anyway, I let people read and critique my work and it was so useful. As a writer, seeing the reader's mindset of what works, what doesn't, what they like and dislike is priceless. And if your beta readers don't tell you anything other than, it's good, don't be shy, dig those answers out of them by asking specific questions. Number four, the process trumps the end result. While I was writing across these seven years, I had the belief that finishing this book would change my life. Technically, I finished writing it three times and then always started back up again, but that's beside the point. In retrospect, the time investment of literal years beats the final result, which is a cliche fantasy novel by a landslide. My writing, reading, and editing skills all improved massively. I learned how to create a novel. You know what I care least about from the entire experience? The actual last draft. Please don't make me read it. If you're enjoying this video, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button for more fast-paced short writing content. Number five, literature is important. You know what my point of literary reference was when I started writing this novel? Children books, because I was 11. Through those seven years, I read more and more advanced books and I learned how to read, I learned how to analyze literature. Reading more variety meant I saw more of what books are actually capable of. Each book we read can be a lesson for our writing. Number six, so our life experiences. This isn't about age, we all live our life at our own pace but it's about the amount we experience. Living life is very important to being able to write well. I don't agree with the advice, write what you know. I believe a writer should be capable of adapting to anything, but learning to adapt means learning about life and how the world works. And that requires experience. Number seven, ditto individuality. I got over myself and read some of the novel. Help. And what stands out to me the most is that it's not me. I wrote this book while literally going through puberty. And there is a definite shift between the first and the last draft as I discovered more of who I am. But even so, it's not enough. Between not fully knowing who I am and being scared to show certain parts of me, I defaulted to cliches. In the time of AI, it's more important than ever to write with our own voice. We're all unique as people, but showing that uniqueness through our writing, that's a skill. I'm curious, what's the first writing project you ever wrote? Is it good? Did you finish it? Number eight, shorter projects are better. Half a million words, four full drafts, seven years of work. That all sounds really impressive, doesn't it? I don't really have any regrets about it. I don't see the point in that. However, Given the chance, I tell my younger self to work on several shorter projects instead. Because other than being able to brag about this impressive thing I did, there's very little I can actually do with this project now. Not only would I have learned more from several shorter projects, I'd also have more opportunities to share and publish and gain readers from these. Number nine, be prepared 
and be patient. Speaking about publication, I wrote each draft thinking it was gonna be the one. Then I'd realized, no, it's not ready yet, I need to work on it some more. Writing a full book is a huge commitment, time and energy wise. There are always so many hack videos recommended to me about writing faster, but in my experience that only leads to more editing later on. Especially with a first project, it's easy to underestimate how much effort is actually required. So be prepared and be patient. Number 10 it's okay to let go. And now it's time for the plot twist. This half a million word, seven year long project is incomplete. I never wrote the ending. Why? Because I learned everything there was from it. I saw the flaws it had and I saw that the original idea was holding me back at this point. If you successfully finish and even get to publish your first written novel, then that's amazing. Huge congratulations, I'm super proud of you. But it's really easy to get lost in the sunk cost fallacy of our creative works. Take all the lessons that you've learned into the next project. It's okay to let go and move on. You can always make a YouTube video about it later. Yup. I hope you enjoyed this video, even if you disagreed with everything I say. Thank you for watching and have a lovely day. Bye.